Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. So today I'm going to be showing you where every single elixir well and shroud root is. Uh, I'm not going there because this video is going to be long enough as it is and I don't have eight hours to run to every single run for you. But I will show you where they are on the map and we're going to do this slowly. So get ready, folks. So the starting point. The Cinder Vault and where your first home usually is. So we have a shroud route just over here to the left. We have the first elixir well. We have a shroud route down here next to the carpentry camp and Morrowin. I am going to try and hit as many towns and location marks as possible as we go through this. And we have another shroud route up here just next to the small flint mine. Then here's the Springlands fast travel point next to another elixir well. And then we've got another shroud route over here just north of the Ergerton salt mines. I'm just going to go up a bit. We have another elixir well here next to Ferndale and in between Westcott. And then we have another shroud route here just north of the ancient vault for the farmer. And over here there is Grime Teeth Got uh, Grotto with another shroud route. I'm just going to zoom out slightly. And we've got another shroud route up here next to the Flame Sanctum, which is west of the abandoned Hunter Camp. You can probably get there from the Rebel Fast Travel Point. The Rebel Wood Fast Travel Point, sorry. And then we've got another shroud route up here, just northeast of the abandoned Hunter Camp and behind the Ancient Bridge. Another Elixir Well. And over here, next to Pike Post, we have two shroud routes. And a shroud route over here next to the mining rift. We're just going to come down again. And now we've got the gates, the pillar of creation. There is an elixir well just behind that. Come down a little bit more to the ancient spire in the low meadow in the low meadows. And we have a shroud route just down here at the edge of the map. An elixir well just north of that. And as we pan around, we're going to go back up to the Pike Fort. We have an elixir world just south of the Flame Shrine and the Cave Passage, which is the Northern Caravan Camp. A shroud route just northwest of the Nomads Highland Fast Travel Point. Just zoom in on that a little bit. It's up in those hills. Let me just clear that marker. And we have one over here, just southwest of the Eldmere Dam excavation camp. This one's quite annoying to find. It is in a cave tucked right in against the wall. And it's quite a long way down. But it's you'll find it. It is just annoying to find, though, that one. And they've got another relic swell here, next to the Obelisk excavation camp. And looks well there. Right down the bottom here, next to Deep Cut, there is one in here. There is one in this bit of shroud here, just north of Shore Watch. And just under the Ridgeback Mine. And then we have over here, Scatterbone, there is a shroud route here, and an elixir well. Shroud route up against this part of the map here, which is behind the Sun Temple. And just sort of northeast of the Kindle Wastes fast travel point. Then we have another elixir world over here. And I think that is a loot marker. So yeah, there you go. There's all the elixir wells and shroud routes. So I'm going to start from the beginning again. And I'm just going to pan very slowly over these. So that you can pause and start wherever you need to. So I'm just going to go zone by zone now. So we're going to start in zone one, which is uh, the Springlands, and then we're going to head up to Revel Wood. Just going to stop here for a few moments so you can pause and look. Okay, we're just going to go up a little bit faster. There we go. We're centering on the Revel Wood fast travel point now. Okay, now we're just going to pan to the right. Centering on Pike's Port. Okay, 
Okay, we're just going over now to the Nomad Highlands. I'm going to center on that for a few moments so you can see. And now we're going to go to the east again. So there's the edge of the map. Now we're just going to look down south. Just going to pause here for a moment. And we're going to go south a little bit more. I'm just going to mouse over some of these settlements just so you can get the names in case they're not obvious. And we're just going to center on the lowland meadows, meadows now just so you can see everything that's hanging around here. And I will say some of these are really irritating to find because they're inside caves so you have to actually go above where you think it is and then drop through. But it, it, it's, you know, exploration. Name of the game. Uh, if I could take you to all of them, I would. But I don't have the hours and hours and hours it would take for me to walk to every single one of these. So the best I can do is just show you the pins on the map where they are. And if you guys need any other uh, video of this, slightly slower, slightly faster, more zoomed in, more zoomed out, please do let me know. I'm happy to make another one. And I will sit in whatever area you guys want, so just let me know. And uh, if this has been helpful, please like, subscribe, ring that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And I shall see you all for the next video. So thanks very much for watching. See you later.